Hi there, Ray Delvecchio here, and today I'm going to install a new installation of WordPress on my HostGator account. And so you know, th this is the setup that I've used for every website that I've built for the last probably six or seven years. Uh, I started with HostGator after using a few smaller web hosting companies, and they were unreliable. In fact, one of them actually closed their business without informing any of the customers and it was impossible to log into my web hosting account and I ended up losing those websites. So once I realized that it wasn't a good idea to try and save a couple bucks for something that's as cheap as web hosting, especially nowadays, I would say go with a big company like HostGator. You're going to find a lot of people that might talk down on these, these bigger shared hosting companies, but like I said, I use them to build local websites. They might not be the best for high traffic websites, but if you're just starting out, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them and they're the best way to go. So let's get started here. I'm going to log in to my cPanel, which is the service that comes with HostGator. And you'll see here that we can install WordPress by using this quick install function down in the software and services section. So I'm going to click quick install. And if I scroll down here, I can click this install WordPress button. And they also have it up here. You can click the WordPress button up here to get to this section. And we're going to install WordPress for free. Click this button here. And normally when you install WordPress, you're going to do it on your top level domain. Um, but for this case, this is a demonstration domain that I have. And I, I usually install the new WordPress installations on a subdirectory. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm just going to call this HostGator WP. So this is going to be installed on d2demos.com slash HostGator WP. And I'm going to put in my email address, ray at websiteprofitcourse.com. The blog title, I'm just going to do test admin user. Um, I'm just going to put my name, Raymond. First name, Ray. And last name, I'm just going to put my initials at DV for Del Vecchio. And we're going to install WordPress. And they're going to try and upsell you a lot of stuff here. I just click no thanks. I'm a web designer. You can see they have all these, uh, all these themes that you can buy. But for the most part, right now, you just want to install WordPress and get started with it for free. So that's all we need to do here. And right now, they have the notification that our install is complete. And they give us the link to log into WordPress as, as well as the username and the password. So let me just copy the password here. And I'll go to this link in a new tab. And we can log in. So I'll just paste in my password. And what I normally like to do is once I log in, I will save the site with LastPass because that way I don't need to constantly type it in. It'll automatically be saved, and it saves you a lot of time when you're dealing with, you know, accounts for several websites and several social media sites and all the other types of <laughs> accounts that you can create on the internet. So I'm just going to save this site, and I could just clean up the URL. I like to just type it in as WP Admin, and the same thing on here under the name. Because I have it on a subdomain, I normally type in the full URL that this password and username are associated with and that's it so once it's saved you or that information will automatically fill in when you go to the website page so you don't need to constantly type it in so that is literally all there is to setting up WordPress on HostGator you're good to go now we have a test website if we visit it we have the pre-installed WordPress theme which I believe this one is the 2016 theme. It's either the 2016 or the 2015. We could take a look here. And yeah, it looks like we have the new 2016 theme installed. So you can get started with your website right here. Now, if you're not set up with your web host yet, like I said, I highly, highly recommend HostGator. And let me show you how you can get started with them for just a penny. You're only going to owe a penny, and then you can decide after a month whether or not you want to renew. But let's go to HostGator.com. And you'll see that they have a lot of options. So if you're a beginner, this could be a little bit confusing, but I'll, I'll walk through a few of them. Um, right now, they have web hosting, 
cloud hosting, WordPress hosting, and reseller hosting. So just to tell you, I use reseller hosting. And with the reseller plan, you can set up unlimited domains. And each hosting account is kind of like a separate account. So it's almost like having multiple individual plans on one account. And I do that because I manage multiple client websites as well as multiple personal websites. So if you're, if you're interested in, in running a web design business, then reseller might be the way to go. But in my opinion, the, the one that you want to start with is web hosting. WordPress hosting is good if you're running an upgraded WordPress site. But the cheapest option is the Hatchling plan under the web hosting section. And you'll see that they, they give you the starting price here at 486 per month. And really, they give you a lot of options when it comes to paying either by month, paying 12 months, or paying you know 36 months in advance. And obviously, the more you pay in advance, the bigger the discount you're going to get. But like I said, I'm going to show you how to get started for just a penny. So we're going to click the Sign Up Now button on the Hatchling plan. And another thing that I recommend, you can you could definitely register the domain on here, but I usually recommend setting up the domain on a separate service like GoDaddy because I think it's better to separate the domain and the host because sometimes it can be hard to transfer one to the other if you for some reason need to transfer companies or change companies. So I like to keep them separate, but there's really no downside if you if you want to register your domain here with HostGator just to do it all together. I really like HostGator as a company and I trust them. So for right now, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that they they're they're trying to set you up right now for oh crap. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to set you up for a, a $216 purchase, which you probably don't want to do right now. So let's um, we're gonna keep the hatchling package type but we want to change the billing cycle to monthly and you got to fill in all the, these other areas your username your security pin your billing info and you could pay with either a credit card or your PayPal account and they're also going to try and upsell you these additional services you'll see they have them checked by default I would not do these you know you don't need to do these right now we could always add these on later, but we want to we want to get started for the cheapest amount possible. So when we uncheck all these options, we come down to the bottom, and they have this coupon code in here, Snappy Day, and the amount is 876. But I'm going to give you a better coupon to get down to a penny. So the coupon that you want to type in, which I'll also put on this video and in the description below, is 1WP Hosting. And if you put that in, 1WP Hosting, click Validate, and you'll see our amount comes down to one penny. So once we do that, just click the I have read and agree to the terms and services, and you can check out. Now, I'm not going to do this right now, but this is all you have to do to get started with HostGator. And then HostGator is going to email you your account information, and you can get started with cPanel. And then you can refer to the beginning of this video and see how I set up WordPress. So I really hope this was useful for you. I absolutely love WordPress. Like I said, I've been using it for six or seven years. I've been building websites. So I really started as a hobby about a decade ago, just learning HTML and CSS. And I think it's a great skill to have moving forward. You know, there's so many small businesses out there that don't have a website or that have a website and it's just crappy and it's not really doing anything for them. They don't know how to manage it. So I think this is a great skill to have for yourself if you want to start making money working from home or if you have a business idea of your own and you want to get it out there. So once again, you can use the coupon code 1WP Hosting to get started with HostGator for one penny. And if you are interested in building websites for others, that's what I do as part of my business and I put out a lot of YouTube videos, blog posts and other cool stuff on my website which is websiteprofitcourse.com. So go there, take a look around. I think you might find some useful stuff. Thanks again. Have a good one guys and girls.